Hey guys, welcome to my backyard garden. This is Mary. Uh, today is the first day of uh, July and I would like to give you a garden tour <laughs> because I would like to show you how the plants are doing. I'm proud of all these plants that I have planted. Here, when you enter my garden, I have all these um, the uh, soybeans and the purple beans planted in the container containers they're all doing good the, um, the soybeans are blooming flowering and the, the purple beans are ready to have a lot of to be harvested look they are ready to harvest I planted this in um, I think like the third week of May and look I like these purple beans, it's the bush type one because they are the fast bearing uh, beans. Okay, and then here I added a new, new section because I planted some gooseberries. And then I also planted over here, there's a small space. I've yet to put a stick also for this one. This is the, uh, these are the wing beans. So maybe later I'll come back to the garden and put the stick. But anyway, I have a, uh, here on the side, I have all these um, squash. They are doing good. They are climbing up to the, I want them to um, uh, spread all around here on top of the steel, the pile of steel over here. So I planted all the uh, squash on the side of these green beans and the green beans of course they are awesome I'm about to harvest too pretty soon I think in a week look at the beans guys there I have a lot of small ones oh I have a lot of birds they are busy eating my um the they are brutal they ate all my berries, <laughs> the blueberries especially. So the beans are doing good. I have a bunch. It has tons of flowers. Beautiful. Like I said, I planted three kinds of beans. Italian beans, the regular beans, and the snake beans. And then here, look at the... Um, Look at how the, the zucchini looks like now. They're about to, some of I see some about to flower, but I don't see any, still tiny though, I don't see any, um, any zucchini yet. <laughs> okay, and then over here I have some uh, bitter gourd. Bitter gourd here. They're climbing up. I old I stake them. And then in the middle, the whole um, the whole plot over here, these are all tomatoes. So I planted a lot of um, heirloom tomatoes and also um San Marzano, especially San Marzano because I'd like to make some um, sauce. And then here in between the the I showed you guys before in between the the tomatoes I planted all the beets. The beets they're all doing good. Look. Oh, nice. I think I'll be able to harvest them soon. And then, look how big they are. And then here, I have, these are the first, um, uh, we call this kohlrabis that I planted. They're about to have, uh, uh, tube, 
the tuber. See that? See how the middle is getting big? Uh, this one is more pronounced over here. See that guy? Look, it's getting big. Whew, these are the purple ones. Beautiful. Here, look at that. Oh, that one is way bigger. Look. Oh my gosh, I'll have a lot. And all of these, these are all called rabbits. Okay, and then here I have I planted some um, uh, must not mustard green. Uh, what do you call that greens? Uh, colored greens. Okay, and then more called rabbits. And then I have some. I also have some um, a few celery. They're doing good. And then the cabbages. Oh, they look beautiful. The cabbages are gorgeous. And the eggplants too are doing good. See, I planted uh, <laughs> whatever spot I can see. Uh, I used every inch of my garden. These are also the uh, gooseberries. And these are the, the, I don't know the name of the, uh, like I said, it's a different kind of bean that I ordered from um, Amazon. And these are the belt beans, string beans they call it. Okay. And here I planted some uh, bitter, not bitter gourd, the uh, bottle gourd. Okay, and I have some more plants in the back. I had to do more cleaning. In the back are usually berries. I've been uh, harvesting berries, raspberries and blueberries, but the blueberries are almost bare because the birds, there is this, there are these big black birds that comes in flocks and also the big bird with the brown plumage. They ate all the berries. Look at this. It's my fault though because I did not, um, I didn't net it this year. <laughs> I guess next year I'll have to net it. In the morning when I get up, all this will be gone because even the green ones, they ate all of them. Oh my goodness. And I have this beautiful uh, lavender. I'll have to research how I can use it, but it has tons of flowers. Okay, and then over there, in front, I have flowers. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't show you uh, one more thing. So, the, uh, I have these apple trees, and it not, every year it doesn't give me that much. It gives me like a few, so I trimmed it. That way... The tomatoes can actually get uh, enough sunlight, and then here, this uh, this uh, honey crisp, one side is dead, so I chopped it. It's just the uh, it's just the other half that's um, actually uh, have some apples because the other half was just just turned dry. I don't know why. Oh, and then I want to show you this. I look at this. Um, these are um, rosemary. I don't have to buy rosemary this year because actually these were my rosemary plants from last year. I trimmed last year and I uh, kept some in the freezer and then um, the roots just uh, came back and uh, gave me more uh, uh, tons, of, uh, tons of rosemary. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, what else didn't I show you? Oh, I that one is the cucumber there. Cucumber with um, uh, zucchini. Okay, guys, I'm excited. I couldn't wait to uh, harvest. <laughs> I couldn't wait for the harvest time, especially for these tomatoes and the beans. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys a lot. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.